Hi guys, I'm Max Weinbach with XDA TV. And you know a while ago, someone had the idea, hey, why don't I transfer a file from my phone to my computer? And you know what? That happens a lot now. Android, it's really easy, you just plug and play. And no one really had the idea of, hey, why don't I plug my computer my phone into my computer to use my phone on my computer as a secondary computer operating system on my computer already? It's a weird concept and I kind of like it. So let me show it to you guys. So you can see here, I've got a phone, I've got a computer, I've got a USB-C to USB-C cable. So let me show you what you do. You turn on your computer. Here I have the Huawei MateBook X Pro from 2018. It's actually really fast and actually pretty nice. Uh, if you put your finger on there, the, it'll read it during the BIOS and unlock it essentially automatically while you go through. It's also very bright, so let me turn that brightness down. Here we go, yeah. So I want to turn that brightness down a little. So if you guys are interested in how this works, it's actually really simple. You plug your phone into your computer like so, and you open Dex, and you unlock your phone because that's the thing you need to do. Then it should just load up, and in a second, you have literally Dex on your computer from your phone. Now, I'm gonna show you guys a full breakdown of what Dex is in a second off screen recording because why record a screen? picture of a screen, not worth it. But just quickly, I can open an app like, let's say, I don't know, Twitter. Let's open Twitter on Dex. Uh, up here. So this is Twitter, right? You got Twitter on Dex. Now over on my phone, right over here, let's open, I don't know, uh, where's, where's Instagram? I was, yeah. I apologize for that random grumbling, but I have Instagram. It's Instagram, this is Twitter. You can actually do two things at once on two different screens. You can have whatever app, you can make a phone call, take pictures, do whatever you want on your phone while Dex is running. You can't have the same app running twice, but you can have two different apps running at the same time. Uh, you can be playing a game on your phone while watching a YouTube video on your computer through Dex, but at that point, I don't know why you're not just using your web browser. Either way, you can do this. So let me actually switch over to my computer now and show you guys a little bit more of those Dex features, which are, in my opinion, pretty cool. So I'm no longer on the MateBook. Unforeseen technical dish difficulties, but it's the same thing, so I honestly couldn't care less. But uh, this is Dex on PC. Uh, it's literally just Samsung Dex, but on a computer. So here we've got like the web browser, right? We can go to XDA and this is legitimately, or I'll make it full screen. This legitimately looks like a full desktop browser. We've got tabs, we've got everything here. You can zoom out. It's a little bit laggy as you can hopefully tell. It's, it's, it's not great. The reason why I think it's not great is just normal USB cannot put the bandwidth through to make this less laggy, and that is understandable. It's not gonna be perfect. Uh, it's literally streaming a phone to a computer over USB. It's not perfect, but it's pretty good. And honestly, with something like this, I'm just aiming for pretty good. Um, but some of the cool things I like about it is I showed you you could have Instagram and like Twitter open at the same time, right? Well, I have nothing open on my phone right now. We can open uh, Instagram here, and you can see that MKBHD tweet. By the way, they're doing a giveaway of the Galaxy Fold. Um, then we can go over to Twitter and have Twitter, Instagram, which for some reason I can't, I can't move, and Samsung Internet open at the same time. We can refresh it, go look at this, go look at this terrible tweet from Cam Summerson. It's terrible. He's wrong. But and then we can see, we can go like this tweet, uh, that new dbrand skin, uh, I had that on my, actually, Note 10 Plus, and then we can go, for some reason Instagram's really buggy, and it's literally just Instagram, so I can just close out there, then we've got this, and we can have them side by side, I, do, I don't believe it snaps to window, but you can have it side by side, you can resize the windows, you can do normal computer stuff, and it acts as though it is a computer. 
you even have your multitasking here. You can see everything that's open. You got the close all button. Um, the, there are a couple things about it though. So not every app is resizable. That's why you can go over to Samsung Dex and actually go to Dex Labs where you can force everything. You can also have it open everything that you had last open, but I keep that off because honestly, it's just gonna be a mess. And if you were on a normal version of Dex, you could change screen resolution and of course your wallpapers. Um, I honestly like the default wallpaper, so I keep that. And then if you are using this, your audio will sync through. So if we were to go to, let's go to YouTube and play in a video from us. Eh, let's go the, uh, let's go Adam's latest video on the honor band. The world of fitness bands. You can hear it playing through. So it does actually work. Uh, the audio passes through and everything. And one other really cool feature I like is actually drag and drop. So let's say I have a compute uh, file on Windows. So right here, this is Beat Saber, right? Uh, I'm not gonna play it because copyrighted music, but this is, for, this is me playing Beat Saber to a song from The Greatest Showman. I can just drag it, drop it over here, and it is going to copy over. You can see here, it's moving a 3.27 gigabyte file. Now, I'm going over USB 2.0 on my screen, which could explain the bandwidth issue. So it's gonna take a while. So I'm, I'm just going to, uh, well, I'm just gonna let this go and I'll be back once it is done. Okay, I'm back, the file's done. Okay, so that transferred over, it took maybe a minute and a half. It wasn't fast, it wasn't slow, but I blame my USB cable, USB-C would have been faster. Now we can actually go here, make this full screen, make this full screen. You can see here in the downloads, we have the Beat Saber. And then this was just a meme I sent to myself earlier and I find it funny, so I'm gonna play it. No. No. Yeah, so I did send that to myself earlier over this on the Huawei laptop, but as I mentioned earlier, there were some tef technical difficulties, so I am re-recording this. So, the reason I transferred that Beat Saber file over is so I can show you something I do relatively often. So I took that file that I recorded on my computer and you can't upload files like that to Twitter from a computer because it will um, actually not let you crop the video since they only allow two minutes and 20 seconds. So you have to upload it from a phone where it will let you change it from, well, Twitter, the Twitter app. So I can't drag and drop that over of course, but what I can do is I can start a new tweet I can say, Beat Saber of the Greatest Showman, what a great movie and song, right? So just a normal tweet, then I can up uh, select the f Oh, copyrighted music. Then I can select that 140 seconds that I want. And then just <laughs> done. Now I'm not gonna send it because, well, I didn't want that and I just didn't wanna play the music, but, I can easily send it now. And I can do the same thing on Instagram. I can do the same thing on any apps that don't have great desktop support. So specifically here, I can literally just select the song and post it there, which you can't do on Windows because Instagram does not have a desktop client that allows posting pictures. So yeah, I find Dex on PC to actually be incredibly useful, but I know a lot of people don't like it. Let me know what you think about this whole feature suite and if you would actually ever use this if it is available on your phone. And it will be available on some phones. Right now it's only available on the Note 10s, but it should be rolling out to the S10s, uh, probably with Android 10, and I assume the uh, Note 9, Note 8 would also be supported with the S9 and S8. I'm not sure about that, but um, I would assume Android, well, Dex devices with Android 10 would support it. So let me know what you guys think about all of this in the comments and uh, have a great day.